Hi, continuing. Who has seen a box quite like this one? Royal Ediswan electric lamps. Let's have a look further into the box, or rather, on the other pictures on the box. Royal Ediswan electric lamps. And look where it's made. Made in Australia. For the Edis for the Edison Electric Company Limited of England. This I believe would have been made at that lamp factory at Newcastle, which I believe is near Sydney. I may be wrong on that one, but I know the the uh, the factory was in Newcastle. Um, another picture. And now let's have a little have a look at the end cover. Sixty watt ES, two fifty volts Pearl gas filled and Royal Ediswan lamps hence the name Royal was always got the coat of arms I think by appointment to the late king if I remember rightly that's the coat of arms let's show you the lamp now funnily enough this lamp has got a screw base which is untypical for uh, the Australian markets because they used like us over here the bayonet cap a little bit unusual the markings around the outsides obviously how these were made they were either pressed out and um, they got like a patterning around it there's the holder itself looking inside it doesn't look like it's fused not the thinning of the wire and no two glass little tubes so I would say it's not fused or oh, is it a thinning of the no no I can't I can't see any thinning Let's have a look at the etch. Now the etch is, is good. It's a good etch. Let's blow it up a bit so we can see it. Alright, the Royal Edis one. There's the coat of arms. The name. It's got by appointment. The Edison Swan Electric Company Limited. Suppliers of electric lamps. Made in Australia. It's got a code which says 80. There's also two little figures there, a little square. Two fifty volts. Oh that actually says two fifty volts and sixty watt. Rather small, but that's what it says. And obviously made in Australia. Yeah, good clear edge. I wish they were always like that. Hey, I'll show you the lamp. I can show you it a light. I won't put it on full power. But it's our voltage, 250. So bring that down to zero. Screw the bulb in. I don't know the age of this, but I would think it's a few years old. By going by what it says on the carton. There's what it's got on the carton. Put it this way around. Save this carton for the collector. It doesn't mean a lamp collector. It means the, uh, the salvage, I, I, I would think. 
So as I say, quite old. I'm not going to attempt to put a date on there. But it's certainly more than a few years old. Hey, let's have a look and see what we think. I'm not lighting it up fully. The first thing we notice is the filament. Yeah, not mentioned. First thing we notice is a filament which is a single coil wreath type. In other words, it's shaped like a horseshoe. I had omitted to actually mention that, and so I've turned it on now. I notice it. We'll have a look through the end and see if we can see the actual filament. But there's the lamp of light. Let's show you what it's like on its side. Typical lamp, a nice size lamp you can actually see. I will. It's only it's only on low voltage. I will turn it off and have a little look at the. See if I can see the filament inside. Yep. I don't know whether you can see it in there. It's definitely a, a single coil, which I suppose is fairly unusual. But well, I say unfused, it's not. It's not really unusual. But it's definitely single coil. Give it the hand treatment. There's the lamp. Give you an idea of the size. Another lamp from down under. Anyway, any questions please ask. I'll try and get back to you with an answer. If I know the answer that is. I'm sure there's people out there who will probably have the answer as well. Possibly from our friends in Australia. So there's the lamp. Many thanks for watching and uh, have a look see what I'm going to put up next. Thanks again. Thank you.